<laughs> what have I done there? Where the hell is that It's still there. I can't see it now though. Oh, there it is. Oh my, that's further in. Oh, I'm picking that one. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, I'll pick that one up now. Found it. Hey guys, Roy here from Your Golf Travel. Um, as you can see behind me, I'm here in South Africa and Leopard Creek Golf Club. Now, I'm sure a lot of you with a keen eye on the European Tour will recognize this venue. Uh, as a common European Tour host, it's certainly one of the top ranked courses in the whole of Africa, not just South Africa. So I think it's fair to say this place probably qualifies under that bucket list category. And with that in mind, what I'm gonna to do today as I make my way around the golf course is talk about not only how good this place is, but also other bucket list courses that not only myself have played in South Africa, but also the guys who are with me from the sales team as well. They know South Africa extremely well. So looking forward to getting their insight on some bucket list golf in South Africa. Leopard Creek. Been wanting to play this course for an awfully long time. Ooh, this place so far, ridiculous. Just left. And what a top shot. Need to play golf in South Africa. <laughs> what a golfer. <laughs> That's good. Uh, you can take it out, please. Chip in cold. I'm just going to tap this in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> That's disgusting. Right, so straight in at number one on my list, and I'm not ranking these in any order in particular, but it's the number one ranked golf course in the whole of Africa, I believe. It's the Fancourt Lynx Court. Like Leopard Creek here, it's a Gary Player design. It's in one of the most incredible settings in the world, down in George, which is where you'd fly into if you wanted to go and stay and play there. They've got two other courses there as well, which are fantastic. But the Lynx course has to be seen to be believed. It is truly magnificent, amazing, fun to play as well. And uh, yeah, all the amenities and things that go with it, top class too. I just want to know where I got my cap from. Where have you been? Uh, have you been the last few weeks? Eh? I don't like to talk about it personally, but I was at Augusta a few days ago. Tough gig? Yeah. Had to take my dad, didn't I? I think I probably deserve that. Probably. Get on the dry land. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's a bit Great cool. layup, that. Short, that oh, oh. Um, wow, 150 yard little par 3 over the water, further proof that you don't need these long 220 yard monsters, what a hole. Masters cap has officially been put on, it's very warm out here, but time for number 2 on my list. And this is actually my favourite golf course in the world and it's about 45 minutes from George, which is where Fancourt is located and it's called Pinnacle Point. Unbelievably stunning golf course set on the cliffs. Some purists might not like the way every single hole was a do or die kind of thing, but I absolutely loved my day there with my dad. Played pretty well as well, which always helps, but I do try and not let that factor into my decision on what is a good and what isn't a good golf course. But honestly, took as many shots on my camera as I did with my golf clubs that day. Unbelievably stunning place. The clubhouse might be one of the best located clubhouses I've ever seen. And certainly, if anyone's traveling to South Africa for a golf holiday, heading down towards George or Mossel Bay, definitely gotta be putting Pinnacle Point on your list. 
How good is this par three behind me, by the way? Rose, Rose, turn the two left behind me. Oh, yeah, geez. There he goes. Thought that was a leopard sighting for a minute there, Jace. He's teasing me. Oh. <laughs> you get one soon. <laughs> Right, another crazy beautiful par three here at Leopard Creek. This course is certainly impressing so far, but time for number three on the list for bucket list courses in South Africa. And bear in mind, these are all courses that I've played, so I'm not saying this is a definitive list, this is just my list from my experience, trying to give you guys some advice on where to play if you're coming to South Africa. And heading back towards Cape Town, a place called Arabella, which we actually tagged on to the holiday I was on with my dad, where we played Fancourt and Pinnacle Point and whatnot. As a bit of a bonus, we found out we were about an hour and a half drive from it. We thought, sod it, why not? Worth the effort from the pictures we'd seen. And boy, did the course do the photos justice. Absolutely stunning surroundings and one of the best setups I've ever played anywhere in the world, not just here in South Africa. They've also got this fun little challenge where if you go through holes, I think six through eight, I think could be wrong. If you go through those holes in level par, you get a voucher to come back and play the course for free. Don't know how they regulate that. I did go through those holes in level par and I gave my voucher to one of my dad's friends who was coming back to South Africa on a holiday of his own. Oh, I'm just so lovely sometimes. That is a large blaze up there. I'm hoping that's intentional. <laughs> Sounds big. Swing. That's given me absolute length. Well, this is fairly spectacular, boys. Nice hole to make the turn. Right, reached the ninth at Leopard Creek and... Wow. Just keeps getting better and better. This is a special golf course for sure. Not playing great. Started off very well, unfortunately. Took a turn for the worse and now pumping drives to the right. Not really being in holes, but how can you not enjoy a day out on a course like this? How has he not ended up in the water on that shot? He's pitched the rocks I like... I think he's hit the big rocks there as well, because that there. was waterbound. Boing! Straight back that over the tree. Closer to 18 than he is 9. You had a good view down it a minute ago, to be fair. I just wanted to check the hole for later. <laughs> it was actually a better angle because you take the water out of play from the left. <laughs> Odds of this clearing the water with what way he's, where he's been hitting it today or Slim not hitting it. Been a lot of hitting the big ball first. The terrace so is far. safe. <laughs> yeah. we, we are not though because this has got a savey swing written all over it. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> it's not reached Wait, the, water. Not the water. Oh, it's back out again! <laughs> this is outrageous. I don't think he's even noticed, has he? It's still in play. He's persistent. I'll give him that. <laughs> two over oh, there. No. He's hit two balls into this hazard, and he's still only hitting his third shot. <laughs> yeah, that's. Not making it. That's a splash ball. Oh. Yeah, finally. Right, as you can probably guess, the place behind me where we're playing today is going to make this list. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But number four, before I get there on this list of bucket list courses you've got to play when you come to South Africa, is Obai. I've been pronouncing it Ubai for the last three years, but my South African friend here, Jason, has just corrected me. 
Obi designed by Ernie Els, some of the most spectacular cliff top holes, a little bit like Pinnacle Point, not quite as many, which is why I think I prefer Pinnacle Point to Obi, but certainly worth checking out. One of the most spectacular places you will play golf, and the layout itself is fantastic as well, and certainly one you should be checking out if you come to South Africa. And I'll ask the two boys, if there are any golf courses I've missed out, because obviously they spent a lot more time in South Africa than I have, so I'll get their perspective as well as thoughts on Leopard Creek itself. Right, just finished the front nine here at Leopard Creek and we figured it'd be pretty rude not to stop at the halfway house. You know, just to assess the quality of the facilities. Nothing to do with having a beer. Nothing at all. True professionals. Right chaps, nine holes in, Leopard Creek. Stopping to um, obviously check out the quality of the facilities. And um, that's, that's all we're doing here, professional and all that. Um, so I've been talking to the guys back at home about my five bucket list courses that I've played yep. right in South Africa and I've already broken the secret the fact that Leopard Creek is going to make that list because it's been special so far for nine holes and I'm imagining the back nine is going to be equally as good but obviously you guys have far more experience in this part of the world than I do I've only been on the one trip and so far I've named Fancourt Lynx, Pinnacle Point Obai, which I've been pronouncing Ubai for the last three years <laughs> and uh, Arabella as my four that I've got so far and obviously as I said Leopard Creek's going to make that list. Are there any I'm missing because obviously like I said you guys are well versed in this neck of the woods. Yeah I think um, you know, Gary Play has clearly done a good job in South Africa you know he's he's done Fancourt he's clearly done Leopard Creek he, he doesn't like making easy golf courses yeah um, done Sun City as well didn't he? Gary Player of course at Sun City is an absolute must play uh, nice and easy to get to as well it's around this neck of the woods uh, but for me as well um, of course we're going to visit later on in the trip uh, of course I grew up playing at Durban Country Club there's a cracking golf course hosted the SA Open there quite a few times uh, pretty pretty uh, easy from the tees as it looks but that course can kill you <laughs> um, and then a Jack Nicholas signature in Cape Town called Pearl Valley. Okay. Seen Fantastic lots of photos design. of it, but. Stunning, stunning design. Really technical golf course. You don't have to biff it off the tee, so it appeals to every range of golfer. Yeah. Um, uh, with a stunning backdrop of the mountains. Um, those are another two I'd chuck in there. Excellent. Mr. Thanks Tidman? Me. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, echo you as well. Uh, later on in our trip, uh, we're going to take on Selborne. Uh, which is an unbelievable course just situated south of Durban. So yeah. that's really good fun. Uh, and I'd also say, you know, up in Neisner, um, which is sort of an hour, an hour north of Georgia, I'd look at Simola uh, okay. Golf Course, which is great. Winds its way down the hill. Um, really attractive golf course and very playable as well. Excellent. Well, let's get back to assessing the facilities on hand here at Leopard Creek, and then we'll get into the back nine in a bit. Rory as a golfer, not a blogger, what are your thoughts? Way, way better than I actually thought it was going to be. Um, I've not watched a huge amount of the European Tour events that have been here. So all I'm really familiar with is kind of the pictures of the 18th. Um, so I didn't have, I had expectations of it being good obviously because it's a Gary Player design and it's one of the most exclusive clubs in the country but just kind of like, like I said, me comparing it to Bay Hill says a lot because that's one of my favourite courses I've ever played and it's very reminiscent, like I said, obviously with a completely different backdrop, completely different wildlife, but the quality is just equally as good, if not better. So 100% bucket list stuff for me. Five bucket list courses in Africa, unreal. It's walks it for Richard and I as well, I think. Excellent. <laughs> 